Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing back Terraria. I am joined by my good friend, Necromanicer. Yes, I have returned from the dead. I am really looking forward to joining Wells Knight and playing a little bit more of Terraria myself. And, and 1.3, 1.3 is now a thing. It has just released, I think yesterday, and so I'm really interested to see all the new things that have been added. I think it was today, wasn't it? It was, I believe, the 29th or the 30th. I can't quite recall, but it is new as all get go. Okay. And as you can see, we may or may not have uh, tried out the expert world function, and your, it's kind of kicking our butt. It was your, it was your idea. I blame I him. I thought it'd be cool. It's got a bunch of new features, but maybe it's just a bit hard. So I think we should, uh, first off, run away from that slime and pick up some of the metals that are around here to give us a bit of a better start. I blame already that we have iron. Well, this is good. Iron, iron is good. I'm, I'm, I'm hung up on killing the slime. I, it, vengeance will be mine. Oh, that's interesting. When you break blocks, they actually stay cracked, so you can see how much damage they've taken. Ooh, oh, and we've got chests. Yes, yes, I saw those a little earlier, but I wanted to wait a bit to break them open. Uh, so, what do we have inside? Tin bars. That's good. Uh, a floating egglet? That's just gonna make us faster. Okay, I will equip. I, I, uh, Let's just break our way through oh, here. Oh, there's slimes and things. Yes. I, <laughs> slimes I can't, are, whoa. I, I, I can't radar. see anything. I see nothing. Okay. Okay, well, I picked up radar and we got some iron and I'm gonna die. Oh dear. Don't just knock run. him towards me. It's it's not worth it. We can't fight him right now. I'll see if I can make a bow. Challenge accepted. I if, if I'm winning. Insist. I'm winning. I will win. More power to you. I'm gonna cut down some trees and try and make a bow. Night is coming and bad things await. <laughs> I, oh. I I can't see what I'm doing, but I'm going to win this fight. I just noticed there's a little X on the uh, mini map. I think that marks the spawn or. Maybe it's maybe it's marking our graves because there's quite a few grave markers over here. Yeah. Let me it's... just come in and steal the kill real quick. There, we win. <laughs> I told you we there win. There you go. Okay, okay. so um um trees, right? We need yes, to chop trees down are trees and things. Really important because we're gonna be wow. The new uh, placement animation actually shows you exactly where you're placing things. Ooh, fancy. That's going to be interesting. We've got a little bit of iron. I think it's just enough to make an anvil. It is. So I think what's next is we need to get some stone to make a furnace. And I placed the workbench on top of the stone. Clearly, I am thinking with my dipstick. Totally uh, a Terraria professional. Absolute professional. Clearly. Now, once we have some stone, we can actually make bows and start fighting the enemies at range. So we've got a little bit better chance of actually surviving. This would be I, good. Sur survival would be nice. I mean, yeah. you know, I'm I'm not picky, but uh, it would be nice to not die every 30 seconds or so. It's the little things in life that add up to not being dead. So, yeah. Yes. Uh, I did take a quick chance to look around before we started off, and it seems we're in the middle of a really deep valley. So we're going to need to work on uh, finding some resources to kind of make our stay here a little bit easier before we can actually make it out. I also see that it's getting very dark very quickly. It is. That is kind of a thing that happens. Do you have eight stone? Because I need 20 and I've got 12. I have 40. Give me like half of that. Oh. Or all of it. That's Ow. good too. I'll just give it all to complain. you. Yes. You can, you, all of, all of my stone are belong to you. Well, now we can kill the slimes, or at least I can with my new fangled bow technology. You might want to get yourself one. Oh, uh, torches, torches. That's what else? What, what else do I need for said bow? Uh, just wood. Uh, the wooden bow only requires wood. Uh, the arrows require stone and wood for twenty-five. Okay. And you can sometimes pick them up once they've hit an opponent or landed. So um, they're pretty economical. Okay. I think I want some torches. Oh yeah, always gonna need torches, just like in Minecraft. And it's one of the things that stays very similar throughout. And the bow. Do I craft the bow at the crafting table, or is that at the anvil? Uh, no, it's the crafting table. The anvil is for metal things. Okay. I haven't even wooden, taken the chance to Oh, wooden it. bow. Ha-ha. I found it. 
It was just hiding. Oh. Well, I made a tiki torch. Okay. And I've now run out of wood. So if we need something, I'm going to kind of rely on you for that. Maybe start making a shelter for us because the moon is rising and zombies are coming for us. I'll, I, I'll I have... handle the little rabbits over here. No, no, the <laughs> rabbits are... Okay. I do have a nice little system we have here. Yeah, lots of lots of arrows. You didn't by chance pick up a weapon like a boomerang out of that chest, did you? Nah, I wish. Ah, uh, wow. That, that would be that would have been nice, but uh, you know what can you do? Keep shooting demon eyes. How much health do these things have? They've got 120. That's like double what they have in the regular game. I remember, Great. they used to have like 60. So maybe we shouldn't listen to me next time. Yeah, well, you're right. Once again, it was your your idea. Uh, we cannot yet place the workbench on, I mean, sorry, the anvil on top of the workbench. I miss that feature. Miss it greatly. Now, how exactly? Oh, <laughs> goodness. Now I'm missing out on wood. I still need to make that. Oh, back it up, back it up. Are we? Uh, do you have any wood for me? Um, How much do you need? Uh, I don't. No, I think it's uh, 10 or 3 to make a furnace. Might be... So, demon eye thing. Yeah. Really, really tanky. I see that. I've got the wood needed. Get him! Uh, sadly, these wooden bows really don't have the range to engage from far away. Well, you know, at least it's something. Before we go any further, we should really set ourselves to the same team to uh, allow us to see our health bars. That would probably be a good thing. I, I don't, I don't remember. Blue team, whenever you're I, ready, you can access it from the inventory. Blue? There you go. Aha. Yes. Oh, oh, I'm getting. I, oh, definitely they're definitely going to die here. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie to you. This, I blame you. I blame you for everything. All the world's <laughs> it's all problems. It's all your fault. Oh, dear. At least they haven't started picking up our coins, because I've heard that's something they can do in expert mode, is actually pick up your coins after they've killed you, and it also, then abscond with them. It also seems like the spawn timer is uh, considerably longer than I remember it being. Yeah, I think that's uh, done to balance out the multiplayer worlds, but uh, I don't know how I feel about that yet. I'm still getting used to it. At the very we're, least, I can say it's a nuisance. We're doing, we're doing okay. I think maybe we we have not died too These much. These zombies yet. are really tanky too. Yeah, that I think that's part of the whole expert mode. But uh, once again, your idea. <laughs> you can't your, prove anything. Your fault. Totally, there we go. totally your fault. Hey, Wednesday, we should play on expert mode. It'll be fun, right? Yeah, yeah. Everyone else is do doing have it. That campfire down, which will help a little bit because it gives us increased health regeneration. Oh, does it? Yes. Oh, I just built it because it looked pretty. <laughs> well, it's good to know that you're not a total waste. I no. resent that. <laughs> you resemble that is what hey you Hey, now. Uh, let's craft up a few more iron bars and see what I can make with this. I can make an empty bucket. <laughs> Ooh, empty bucket. That doesn't, that doesn't sound helpful at all. Sounds yeah, more least... helpful than expert mode. <laughs> Oh, hush. you know what? I'm just going to let this zombie kill you out of spite. Oh, I'm out of arrows. <laughs> I'll toss some your way in just a sec after I kill this guy. But there we go. Yeah, I'm completely out of arrows. OK, I'll make there more. you go. You've got like a stack of 40 flaming arrows. Oh, but like regular arrows. Just extremely gay. Just just flaming. <laughs> yes. <laughs> OK. No, they do. They deal a bit of extra damage, but they take some torches to craft, so they're okay. nice in the beginning. It's just I'm worried that we're burning through a lot of arrows just surviving at this point, and the only thing we're getting for it is coins, which are useful. It's just we don't have a house to. There are house so the many. At. There are so many enemies. They are everywhere. It's because uh, none of them have gotten a chance to re uh, to despawn because. We've just been sitting there at the spawning area. So every time we respawn, we give them a new target. Whereas if we kind of uh, move off to the left, I think that some of them would go away just because they no longer have a target to follow. I'm not seeing these arrows. 
Whatever. You know what? Uh, they're off to the right. I'll just if craft. You're not gonna use them. I'll just. I will. I'll just craft more. Ah, I'm dying. How's that working for you? I'm gonna lead them off to the right. Your hopefully fault. Hopefully they despawn. Totally your fault. Coming to think of it, I'm, this is maybe an awful idea I, because I, I remember there's the crimson over uh, there, but we're kind of stuck. Uh, okay, I've burned through my stock, so now I'm using the fire arrows, which means more damage, and that doesn't really help when they have enough damage to kill me. So, you know, this is a pretty chaotic night. <laughs> this is your fault. I am re-questioning our friendship right now. <laughs> it's it's the little things, you know. Friends like, don't let friends play on expert fault. mode. <laughs> this is a little bit of self-sabotage as well. I've got to sit through this with you. It's not yeah, I bet you're just laughing hysterically over there. I'm having a wonderful time. I don't know about you. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm having a great time. I'm just dying repeatedly. It's well, what everyone you aims to do. To survive. Hey now. <laughs> I think this zombie actually stole my coins because he's sparkling something awful. And let's see. Oh yeah, he had a bunch of coins on him. So that's a really cool mechanic. I like that. It makes it so that it's not just about journeying back to where you died in order to get your coins. You actually need to struggle for it. Which may be not the best, but I think it's an interesting mechanic that adds to the difficulty, which is really something that they needed in the later stages of the game, but maybe not the early stages. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut my way on in here. Night's about three quarters done, so we've done a good job of surviving thus far. Well, that's good. I'm, I'm trying very hard to build some sort of something. Something ishly. Something ishly, yeah. It's a... My way of putting it, at least. Yeah. I, the, the goal here is to basically live long enough to not get killed instantly every five seconds. Live long enough to prosper, one might say. Yeah, something like that. Two wooden doors. Wooden doors, always useful for keeping the nasties out. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, that's right. Pickaxe. Our guide is an awful shot. Have I ever mentioned that? Maybe it's because we're on expert mode. <laughs> it's just their little way of nerfing the NPC's ability to fight back is they just door full shots. And door. And squirrel. Hold on. Squirrel needs to go. I've made my way safely up here, so I'm actually in a pretty okay spot. Night's just about over, so I think we've done it. We've survived. Now, now we just need to actually make that shelter into something reasonable to live in rather than some slipshod amount. We're, we're world's derpiest art. building? Yeah, no, you, you are very good at the derpy buildings. Everyone hey now, knows. I'm amazing at derpy building. Yes. It's my specialty. <laughs> just need to grab some more wood off the trees up here because we couldn't exactly mine them out during the absolutely awful nighttime period. Hopefully we can work our way up to some better weapons pretty soon and not have nearly the same difficulty come next night. Once again, your fault. <laughs> okay. I feel like this is going to be a running thing. Just everything seems to be my fault. Well, if it continues to be your fault, then yes, it will be a running thing. <laughs> Funny how that works, but uh, I don't think expert mode is going to be too terribly difficult, especially because the early game was never really the big worry in Terraria. It was more that just the first nights always just god awful. And so now that we've survived that, we should be in a much better place. Survived? <laughs> could, could you could you explain to me your definition of surviving? Because it seems to be very different from mine. I'm alive. You're alive. The enemies are no longer here. We're like we're like cats. We have infinite lives, apparently, because I definitely did not live through that entire night. There was a lot of dying involved. I mean... It's a sort of relative term. Your <laughs> fault. That's all I'm going to say. I'm just going to leave it. I will take that to heart and uh, take that into consideration going forward. Kind of add that to my uh, little repertoire of things that I know about the game. That the sounds... night is awful. <laughs> that sounds... Squirrel. A red squirrel. It's not even it... a regular gray squirrel. No, what it is is it's a like... dead squirrel. <laughs> yeah. Mwah. Now it is. 
Anyway. It seems like they've updated a lot of the little creeps and mobs. Yeah, you know. That's cool. But, you know, I think what we are is pretty much out of time for this episode. So I say we go ahead and end this one right here. And then the two of us get some resource gathering done, start digging, uh, you know, down, getting some resources, stuff like that. And that way, when we come back for next episode, we can do something other than just die repeatedly, which is your fault. You know, that sounds like a good plan. Uh, I, th I think I'll take responsibility for that and try and lead us to a few more materials for next episode. All right. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. We do appreciate it. I am so glad to have Terraria back after all this time. Oh, man. Are you still a hermit? I am. I am indeed. Still working on getting a few more things up and running, but I am I am definitely looking to uh, break into social media coming up, so at least keep an eye out for it, but nothing yet. All right. Well, links to Necro's channel in the description down below. As for me, you can find me on all the various places listed in the description as well. So other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll definitely see you next time. Have a good day, everybody.